Well, my speed sensor must have shit itself because now I've got a flashing D4 and I was doing about 80 Ks and all of a sudden it just dropped and no indication now of what speed I'm currently doing. Hey guys, welcome back. Tron here. It's been a while. Yes, we have a flashing D4 on the speedometer, which isn't cool. But not to worry guys, I'll show you exactly where the speed sensor is. We'll be taking that out, putting a new one in or a second hand one. And also I'll be removing a pollution canister from the old air intake system that is no longer needed because I have the aftermarket one, not the stock air intake box. Without further ado, let's just get on with it. Got the intake off. Speed sensor's just down here. And it's got three 10 millimeter bolts on that bracket which holds the pin. Here's a new sensor that I got from the wrecking yard. There's the pin for it. Believe it or not, they can break just the pin itself. I've got them side by side, the one out of the car and the one from the wrecking yard. Before I put it in, just make sure they all look the same. Everything looks the same, even from underneath. This one has numbers, and this one doesn't. And I have a funny suspicion that this one is an aftermarket one. I'm not too sure. Someone might be able to correct me on that. And we'll see how we go. And there's just a quick shot of what it looks like with it off. My speed sensor is in. It wasn't too bad. It's pretty much like a simple standard procedure. All you have to do now is just fire it up. Now considering you got your intake off, now it's probably a good opportunity to um, take advantage of cleaning that throttle body, considering you got your intake off. Good time to do it, do it now. To be honest, I just did it just then. Okay, I just started the prelude up. Obviously the D4 won't be flashing because the car's been off and these Hondas, when you turn off the car, generally the ECU resets itself any codes or anything like that so that's why if some of you might have an engine light might appear up sometimes but i don't have an engine light or a d4 flashing right now the only way to find out if this thing's actually good or bad is by taking this car out for a drive well we just made it to the car wash with success i'm really happy no flashing d4 oh yeah <laughs> Well, we just got home, and there's a slight whistling noise coming from the intake manifold. I'm assuming it's a vacuum leak. I asked a couple of boys in the Caprilli community, and they believe also it's a vacuum line. I was taking a look at this PCV valve, and I was putting pressure through it, and it blows both directions when it's supposed to blow one direction, but not the other direction. But when I put pressure through it, I'll just grab that grommet, and pull it out. Boys! It just ripped apart and the rest of it just fell inside the rocker cover and I can just see it in there. The o-ring was so old it just fell apart. I can't believe that piece of rubber fell in there and I can still get to it without removing the whole bloody cover. Here's the difference guys, this is the old one. You hear nothing. The new one right here. That's what it's supposed to do. The, um, the number for the grommet because the grommets have been discontinued by Honda they don't make them anymore and why they've discontinued making these considering you don't discontinue making condoms here so the part number for that is a PCG07 that's what it is and you have to take a file to the inside of that grommet which I took a metal file to it to take out a little bit of meat because when you push the PVC valve in that grommet, it expands and it won't seat all the way flush down to the to the uh, rocker cover here, like I've achieved. So um, take that into consideration that you will have to f take a little bit of meat out of the inside of the grommet, the inside of it. Okay, that's the way I achieve this sort of setup, and I'm very happy with the result because I've deleted the stock air intake box. We're going to remove this pollution canister because there's a vacuum line that goes to the stock air intake box that opens and closes the valve. 
because I've deleted that, we'll, um, there's no need for this anymore. So we'll delete this. It'll clean up the engine bay a little bit. Okay, got the battery out and everything. I'm taking a couple of screws off. As you can see, I'll, I'll try and make it easier for you guys to see. Just here. See the sensor here? Got done. Clip that. There's a screw on the side here. Okay, unscrew that. The sensor will be there. You have to leave it there because it's connected to the ECU. The ECU will know it's been disconnected. You have to leave this stuff here, okay? When it comes to stock ECUs. Um, unless you want engine check light or you yeah, probably go into limp mode. That would suck. So there we go. It's all replumbed. Stick this back in the car. Plug this back in. Put this vacuum line back to the intake. The ECU shouldn't be any wiser. You're gonna to need to make an L-shaped bracket, which I've already prepared. This is the best I can do. I painted it already, so. L-shaped bracket like this. Stick this in the back here. Get the very same screw that you took off from the back of the sensor. And screw it back in. Finally, she's all back together. 